So for sharpening knives, I'm going to be using two steels, your honing steel. This one here will maintain the edge. Your sharpening steel is a diamond steel. So for sharpening, a diamond steel. For maintenance, a honing steel. And to get into a regular pattern for sharpening is really important. A lot of people would use the steel this way up, bringing the knife down either side. This way, you'll find it very difficult to find your angles. To use your steel correctly, bring your steel pointing down onto the board and a cloth here being used so my steel doesn't slip around. So for sharpening a knife, using a diamond steel for the sharpening, we're looking to come onto the steel at 20 degrees. So there's an easy way of finding this. First way, 90 degrees, half of that 45, and then half of that and you're in your window of 18 to 22 degrees. But using this steel, I've obviously got a guard or a bolster here, which if and when I bring my knife all the way to the top, uh, that is the 20 degree angle that I'm looking for. A little twist to make sure that all of the blade is onto the steel and then nice and easy, not too heavy with it, bringing it backwards and forwards three or four times either side of the steel. And for sharpening, I like to get into a regular pattern of around about once a month. Using either the edge of your board as a guide, popping your steel in so it doesn't slip anywhere, keeping yourself safe, or using a cloth into the middle of the board and the steel down. A lot of people make the mistake of using the steel up in the air, backwards and forwards. This, actually, as fast as you go, will not actually hone or maintain that edge, and also it's very difficult to maintain the angles that you're looking for. To get our angles accurately, steel down, nice firm grip, and then looking for our angles again, 90 degrees, half of that 45, half of that and we're out in our window, bringing your knife up to the heel of the steel, using that for our angles for sharpening, a little twist, and then this is a different sound to our diamond steel. This is just a lot easier, bringing the edge back, realigning the blade three or four times either side. This needs to be done regularly, around about once a week or every hour and a half that you use your knife. Three or four times, not too heavy, not too hard. As an alternative for sharpening your knives, this is a nice, simple way. So it's an alternative to steels. We've got a two-stage pull-through. The first stage in front of me, this one, number one, is for sharpening. The second one is for your maintenance. Nice and easy, the advantage to this is that the actual angles for sharpening are set for you, so you can't go wrong. Holding it nice and firmly in one hand, bringing your knife in. This is not about pushing too hard or using too aggressively. It's nice and gently bringing it back from heel to tip just three times. Sharpening once a month and then maintenance, just removing the rough edges or realigning the knife or once, once a week. And again, nice and gently, three times through from heel to tip. So together, once a month and then regularly, little and often on the outside, around about once a week or every hour and a half you use your knife. To test how sharp your knife is, we're going to cut through the tomato again no pressure, just holding it nice and gently and the actual blade going through the tomato. Rolling it over, no pressure. In, I'm just literally holding the knife and as you can see, it's gliding through nice and gently, leaving the flavor of the tomato all in. <laughs>